KCBS. It's Wednesday, March 16th, 2022. Coming up on KCBS, an innovative training ship coming to Cal Maritime. KCBS News Time 432. We have more in the News Watch. If you have spent much time crossing the Carquinas Bridge over the years, chances are you've caught a glimpse of Golden Bear, the official training ship of Cal Maritime, Vallejo's Maritime Academy. Well, Golden Bear is getting a little old and a little outdated, and funding has just been secured to replace it. For more on the long-awaited replacement ship, we are joined live on the KCBS Ring Central Newsline by Rear Admiral Thomas Cropper, President of Cal Maritime. Well, thanks so much for your time. Let's start with what your training ship means for your cadets. I assume it's rather critical for their training. Uh, very much so, and we're very happy to have something that's brand new and purpose-built, uh, a training ship that has you know modern navigation equipment and software, touch screens, advanced radar, uh, electric drive propulsion, thrusters to maneuver the ship and, um, and onboard classrooms and simulation labs that uh, we've had to make do without on you know, the Golden Bear. This is a very basic question, but where do training ships come from? Are they designed and built specifically for the task or are they repurposed ships uh, that had another mission? That's a great question. Um, this marks something very special for us. It's uh, very significant that in the first time in U.S. history, the federal government's uh, providing a brand new state-of-the-art ship to uh, the five state maritime academies. Typically, they've been 25 to 30 years old, which means you get old technology, you get high costs of operation. Uh, maybe you're not up to speed with some of the newer safety measures or environmental regulations, and so you take a lot of time and money to uh, convert them. So it does make it quite significant for us. Talk a little bit about how the ship is used. You, you have a summer cruise as part of your four-year program, do you not? That's correct, yes. Uh, we, we go out for about 65 days at sea, uh, flying the oceans across the Pacific. We'll make port calls in places like Seattle and uh, Los Angeles, uh, Hawaii. We've uh, gone as far as Vietnam and down to the South Pacific. And this year we'll be going to uh, Ensenada for a, a port call as well. And we're training our merchant marine officers on board. And um, one of the major features of that uh, particular training term is to go out and do celestial navigation. And we still teach that here. And, and Vallejo's Academy is one of what, one or, or one of two or three in the country? Well, there are, uh, there's one federal academy, the U.S. Merchant Marine Academy, also called Kings Point, and there are six state maritime academies. Uh, we are the only academy on the West Coast. There's one in Texas. There's one in Maine, Massachusetts, and New York. Uh, and then the the sixth state maritime academy is in Michigan. Well, thank you so much for talking to us, Rear Admiral Tom Cropper, president of Cal Maritime Academy.